When we have a storm that's drawn out for days like this, sometimes the sidewalks start looking like this, covered in snow, making it tough for people who rely on the sidewalks to get around. If you've been behind the wheel on these snowy roads, you know they're slick and slippery. But what is it like to be a walker out in these blustery conditions? The sidewalks weren't really shoveled at all, so I kind of had to just like waddle down the hill and it, the snow was even higher than my boots. As a pedestrian, you need to be extra careful and anticipate that the car that is coming towards you may not be able to stop. Walkers like Eric Weber says he usually likes to stick to the sidewalks, but when the snow piles up, sometimes he has no choice but to take to the streets. You need to, it's almost a must. The city of Syracuse says it's the homeowner's responsibility to shovel the sidewalk in front of their property. Patrick Carroll is not a walker, but he can understand the challenges they face. That's why he's out shoveling a clear path. I would probably walk in the street because it would just take so much extra time to zigzag in and out of the road to the, the cleared areas. As for those trudging through the snow, Julie Whetstone has a message for homeowners. Well, I'm just a student trying to get to class, so I would just ask that homeowners please try to shovel the sidewalk because that's my only way to get there. Syracuse police have the right to ticket you if you don't shovel your sidewalk in front of your property. The mayor's office says so far this season they haven't issued any tickets. For now, reporting in Syracuse, I'm Sarah Thackerman.